Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna do a request which was a dialog box but this one it's not gonna be a complete thing so with everything because I didn't want to make the video like 30 minutes 40 minutes this is just for you to have a breakdown how you can set up a text box like this and how the whole thing works in the background because there are a few things maybe you need to understand and so after that you grasp okay this is how it works and then I can improve on that so this is just for you guys so the stuff you, which you're seeing on the screen it already works which is pretty fine this is a text box which is proportional to your zooming so basically um yeah so this is not a GUI text box system I guess I can do that in the future but for now this should be good enough so you get an understanding how that actually works in the background so if you want to know how to do that in game maker stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky swords and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can because that actually helps out my channel a lot so let's get right into the good stuff and first of all just give a quick illustration so you understand what we are doing here so this is my text box and in there i want to have my text being written well inside here which looks definitely good so therefore i need to have it in this red area and not starting let's say on top of because that wouldn't look good and therefore I have some padding variables so therefore I need variables for the side so we just start here from the top so it starts here writing and then from bottom as well so it starts sometimes bottom and top are the same padding values but sometimes folks as you can see this a little bit has a different size than this one here so maybe you want to change it and then to understand let's say for example we're starting to write the text bam 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 and at some point we want to break the line with a specific line height to get to the next line break again da -da 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 -da, repeat and until we reach this point we want to break and then we completely kill the whole string so the whole text and then well we go and continue from this point on a new complete text so you understand how that works so let's get right into the good stuff so basically the, the principle is not too difficult to understand first of all I have two strings one which is the complete full text so text full this is the whole thing it is quite long as you can see and then the printout text this is a temporal variable because it is getting passed in let's say the zero position then one two and so on and then it fills up slowly the whole thing into this variable so this is kind of important and how can you do that well basically you just set up an alarm there are of course other systems you can do that in a step event but i think the alarm is the most elegant way to do that so we just set up our first alarm zero bam and then we do letter add and letter add is just like a counter so it's just counting up it starts from zero and then every time the alarm is hit we add one to it and then we set up a new alarm and by that we just say hey our temporary variable which i call print our text is getting some stuff so what is it, what is it getting basically first of all here we do string copy which is just a thing as you can see it needs a string then index and the count and those are quite easy to understand first of all it needs the string we need to well, extract uh well it's letters from so partially or the whole thing then we need a start point which is which you could actually start with zero the other one i will explain in a few seconds this we can actually kill for now because this is just if you jump to other pages and then then the letter add which is this guy here so first of all we have zero then we wouldn't be adding anything but we start then with one because letter add stats will start with zero then we have one and the first one is then 
DA. And after that, every time you, you cycle through, you get a new letter and therefore the whole thing is getting filled up with lots of characters. This is how the things are called from a string. So the one thing is just a character, then it's filling up. So basically, once again, we take the whole text, start at zero, so the nothing position. So we are drawing nothing and then we're adding positions to and then we're filling up the whole string. And let's say, for example, we started right now, then you will see that nothing is changing. And then you're just filling up the whole thing. And this is how you can do that. Of course, it has some issues. As you can see, it's trying to draw. And sometimes the word is longer than the thing. It will just draw it and then whoopsie and jump to the next side, which is not complete, not too optimal, but it's still good enough for beginners. And as you can see, we are drawing over the text box, which we don't want to have. That is a stem I just put in later on. So let's get right into the other stuff. So first of all, this is the drawing. So what do we need furthermore? So first of all, we need to have a draw event where we basically just draw our text. So draw text and then extend because I want to give it some extra variables and don't be afraid that there are lots of variables. They are pretty easy to understand once, once I show you them because um, they are here. And once you, for example, want to change some parameters quickly, you just go in here. Uh -huh. What do you want to change? The separation, maybe, maybe the break width, maybe this. And then you can dynamically just change it here. And everything is being updated here and works pretty fine. Um, well, later on. Therefore, I just put in lots of variables, maybe confusing at start, but in the end, Hopefully, definitely not. So how is actually our string being drawn? So first of all, we need to draw ourselves. Not really, we don't have to do that, but we want to draw in the background our text box. And then we say, hey, we start with X and Y. Why X and Y? Because let's go into our thingy here. It is aligned top left. And therefore, our first position is, which I showed you here, this position, but then we go with in some padding. So therefore I just say, hey, X plus padding side from the left side and Y plus padding top. So we just go a little bit to the right and a little bit downwards. And then what do we want to print out? Well, the print out text, not the full, but just the temporal thing, which is getting filled up. And the next thing is text separation. So for example, once you go in here, you just need X and Y position, which we are j I just showed you, then the string we want to print out and then separation and width. Separation is just basically how many pixels do you want to separate the next line from the other text? So here I just gave it a web value of 20, then text break width. I did dynamically. So this is the pixel width at which point the text will basically just break into a new line. So text break with, um, you can do that like this. For example, you can say, hey, I take the whole sprite width, but minus the padding from the left and the right side. And then, well, you end up with a value which is here and here. Of course, it looks a little bit messy, but hopefully you could see that. And then, well, we have that. So basically we are just drawing our correct position. Then we are breaking at some point. Then maybe you want to scale it up because you have a font and you use it for multiple purposes. Then you can, of course, um, have a specific scaling. This is the X and Y scale. I just have it set to one. So this is not important. Then the angle completely forget that because, well, it wouldn't make any sense to <laughs> give it an angle because then it, you will skew it and this looks kind of silly. So this is a zero value. So you can put it manually in here and then some colors. For me, I just put in C white. So because we don't want to have a color overlay, but of course you can do that if you like. So get some more beautiful effects if you want. And then text alpha and bam, this is how we draw it. And let's, for example, I don't know, I could start it again, but here one little thing which is just extremely useful for you guys just have a variable which i just call debug and if it is true we didn't set it to true let's go for true and what is it doing it is doing one thing and as you can see it has the same parameters as the text which we are drawing so we're drawing now a rectangle 
and the rectangle is this guy here so the text area where we want to draw our text so basically padding side padding top and here we need to go a little bit to the right so we're just taking the x position which is zero from the complete left then our whole sprite width and minus one padding on the side and similar we go from our top value which is y and then take the whole sprite width minus the, the padding bottom and then what else just see red see red see red so we just have a red rectangle and then the last thing which i want to draw to the right side is this is for you interesting because at some point you want to break your line and therefore we just take say hey string length and then the text which is the temporal one which is getting filled up and at some point maybe you want to well break your text and so this is just for debugging so you see where the stuff is going as you can see the red line which is just your area of definition where the text is supposed to be then on the right side you see the count and as you can see i break my line at 240 because for this text it makes sense as you can see it's filling up filling up filling up and it should be basically breaking up for now but i didn't put it in but this could be uh, let's say for example for you the point where you want to break and therefore i just draw the things and this is just for debugging checking okay this point it makes sense break and kill all the text and break into a new kind of page and this is what we can do here because i kind of well deleted that uh, yep so what are we doing here and this is the last part of course this is optional if you for example want to just do a text box with one line or let's say one page then you can completely forget that and bye bye that was the tutorial for you but it's the people for you guys you want to see a little bit more well i just here have now not the zero value but letter next page which is starting at zero so letter text page where are you starting at the zero position so this is here before the a but at some point you say hey check please my the length of my string and if the string is pretty long then what do we do we say hey are you over the 240 then the letter next page so this variable where we start our print our text it's not going to be zero but it's going to be well this guy which we're adding all the time so the counter so the counter is saying hey we stopped at position 240 i don't know somewhere between here of course not really but let's say this position and then bam it will say okay let's go to that position so we start from the new position at page two and three and so on and then we need to nullify our letter adds to a zero point because then this would be i don't know the new position which we start and then we go zero one two three four and so on and so on and once for example we start it then you will see it will break at some point so i had it at 240 of course it got a little bit slow for now come on faster and this is a thing for example i didn't put it in a break or something so you can just press a button and then it will go on or for example you press a button and then the whole text is going to get displayed to this point this is not part of the tutorial as you can see bam breaks to a new line and this is pretty much it hopefully you understand how to set up your own text box which is in principle not too difficult of course a link in the description you can get the whole project it's by no means a complete and full system but still for you to understand what's in the background how it works and how you can actually set it up for yourself and advance if you like maybe i will do something like this for my uh, patrons not sure about that if you guys want that but that was pretty much it for today have a good one one up indie